Hi, I am Smog and this is Quick Answer. Today we'll learn when a function is too big. When writing code, we often hear that this is a good practice to keep your functions short, small or just concise. But what actually is correct length of a function? This is very often a serious problem for new developers. More experienced, ask this question too. Let's start by explaining why it matters. And I hate to break it to you, it's not because we used to have screams that couldn't fit more than 24 lines at once. Methods should be small to be easy to reason about. As programmers, we are very good at managing multiple levels of abstractions in our heads, but we could never fit entire programs with all their low-level details. So if the function is too long, it will be hard to reason about. Programming is difficult as it is. We don't need any further complications. So paraphrasing famous Uncle Bob, your function is already too big. When you refactor it and make it smaller, you should actually make it even smaller than that. If you need a concrete number, functions should never be over 100 lines long. Actually, they shouldn't be longer than 20 lines, where a line is 150 characters tops. So how to tell that your function is too long and should be broken into more functions? The most obvious question is, does it do one thing well and only that thing? If it does more than that, it's too long. You can see already that we aren't really focused on the actual number of lines, but rather the logical scope of the function and how it's fulfilling the promise given in its name. What are other red flags? Nested control structures, for loop in another loop or switch, multiple levels of if statements, too long. Having the same code in multiple functions. Got comments explaining how things work? Your function is too long. You don't know immediately what exactly each line does. This function is too long. Your function touches different levels of abstraction at the same time. It is too long. If it can't fit on your screen, yes, too long again. Another measure of function correctness when it comes to size is the number of arguments. Clean code practices state that an ideal function should have no arguments. If that's not possible, we should use one. And only if that's not possible, two. Using three arguments needs special justification. And usually this justification is already wrong. These rules may sound harsh, but they are exaggerated for a reason. To be fearful of long, complex function that use dozens of arguments, because they are the best place for bugs to form their nest, lay eggs and spread to other parts of the code. Remember, it's much easier to keep your code clean from the start than refactor everything. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!